Welcome back today, one, two, three. I'm Captain. One, two, three. I'm Sunshine. And we're still walking. And we're still talking. We are going, we are going from stealth site mile marker 1416 to we're not sure. <laughs> but the plan is to do 21.5 miles today. And there isn't really like there's because you're only supposed to camp at designated spots, there aren't really too many designated spots, so we just kind of take it as we go and how we're feeling. Um, so it's kind of up in the air today. Um, We've got a big uphill in the beginning. Yes. But which are already I like. would say the deli sandwich from last night is fueling me up this already. <laughs> it is, right? And we both packed out a... Oh, I thought I saw a bunny. We both packed out a bagel this morning, so we've had a bagel for breakfast. A uh, lot... Where we had to put the tent last night... Um, was lots of spiders. Lots of spiders. Um, lots and lots. So I just asked Kevin this morning when he was packing up the tent, Hey, can you just make sure no spiders get in the tent? Because <laughs> tonight I don't want to go to sleep and have spiders crawling across me. And they weren't little ones, they were very big spiders. Nice new roommates. Exactly, roommates, exactly. All right, guys, here we Let's go. Let's get going. might be my first slug on the trail. So when the trail becomes a river, <laughs> it becomes a little complicated. You kind of have to make your own path around the side if someone else hasn't done it. And then you usually can't see what's underneath the grass, so it could be just a muddy mess as well. So I'm gonna go this way. There's a lot, oh wow. There's a lot of pricky bushes, be careful. All right guys. My nasty socks, my NNG toe socks. So I just took them off, uh, which I am a huge, huge fan of toe socks. And the reason I took them off is because my, um, I've got a bit of Christmas toe going on, but my toes are going a little, just feeling a little, um, I don't know, constraint, constricted. Um, in my shoes and I don't know if it's that my sh my foot size went up I so these Kaha's nine and a half Hoka have been working out for me and I love them and I just went on to another pair of them and they're feeling like they're a little tight not in the length and the width and so when you're hiking many hikers feet will grow mine have already grown half a size and I think they've grown in width as well so I may have to switch to another Hoka boot that has a wide version because my toes are really hurting me a lot. Um, what I'm doing in the meantime is, is I can't get another pair for a week and I want to see if I can just stretch these out a bit and maybe it'll do the job. Um, but I also took off my toe socks because my toe socks are size medium and now I think I'm officially a size large foot and so I'm hoping that that will alleviate the pain and that they won't feel so um, constricted and the pain will go away. That being said, when you modify one thing on a hike, it can impact something else. So I have two, I had two blisters on my heels and on my baby toes, I had two little blisters starting to form. And I think it's because the shoes were starting to get too narrow at the end of my last pair of shoes. Uh, and so, but I haven't had any other blisters. So now I'm concerned that if I took off the toe socks, I'm gonna get blisters between my toes, but you can usually feel when a hot spot's coming. So in the event one does come, I'll either put the socks back on or put on some compete or something. So, oh, I'm so tired talking about feet. And I hate feet. I'm not a foot person at all. Like I really don't like feet. And I find all I do is talk about my feet. So I've been hesitating about sharing this reality with you guys. 
Um, if you haven't noticed, I haven't talked too much this morning. And I tend to talk a lot, so <laughs> you know something's up when I'm not talking much. And I usually tell you why. Um, so I hesitate to tell you this because I am so lucky to be able to be out here and be hiking this. For, from a financial, a physical, a mental aspect. Uh, but that doesn't mean there's not obstacles that go along with it. Yes, I am through hiking, but I'm also still a mother, a partner, and a business owner. And none of that stops just because I'm out here hiking. And so this is not for a pity party, but this is just to share the reality. And I want this reality documented. Um, whether it is received well by others or not, I want this as part of our catalog of doing this. And so, oh God, it's a big uphill. I'm gonna stop for a minute and tell you this. We just took a zero and I was at my computer from five in the morning until 10 at night. And then I got a really bad headache and couldn't sleep well. Um, yet last night was our first night back on the trail after the zero and I didn't sleep well then either. So I'm really freaking exhausted. And we're not even doing 30 minute miles right now. I'm just so tired. And, you know, it's not just my work I'm dealing with on a daily basis, but it's also other things. And so, for example, a captain needs surgery after this hike. Um, we knew it before the hike. It has nothing to do with the hike. He's not in danger hiking. He got full approval from the doctor. It's not a very, it's not a serious surgery. So don't panic anyone. But aligning all that with insurance and booking and forums and all that stuff, because he's probably going to get about a week after we finish the trail, is time consuming. Um, we have another child who pretty much handled all of our medical care, um, but she is having a bit of a tough recovery. So there's stuff involved with that. Um, I have doctor's appointments that need to be scheduled. And um, I still need to, both of us, not just me, but Will and I, you need to spend time on our relationship. Um, and then in the process of all this over the last of our zero, I also had to kind of finalize Captain's school program for next year. And we don't do a kind of a, I don't know what it's called, where you buy the program through one organization. It's kind of a hybrid and it changes depending on our teenagers needs their path um, where they are academically all that kind of stuff captain is applying for some scholarships for his private pilot's license so little things like you know looking over his essay after he did it and right now captain is heading a um volunteer event in cambodia in june and there'll be a lot more information about it. i'm not going to tell you guys about it right now and so although he is organizing it all, he's still young and needs some guidance on it. And then we have all of our 2025 group trips coming up. And so I've been working on finalizing the itinerary and getting ready to market them to our community. Um, it's not, I hope this doesn't sound like I'm complaining. It's not, I'm grateful for the life I have, but I'm also exhausted and presenting the reality of you know, not everyone comes on here and just hikes and that's all they're thinking about while they're on here. There's people like me, there are people that are going through divorce, people that are going through um, um, financial hardship, people that are going through medical stuff, people that have families back home or maybe work or a business. I haven't, I haven't met anyone else that's working on the trail, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. Um, so it is, of course it can be done, I'm doing it. But when there are days where I'm just like, you look at me and you think, what the heck? She looks like she's gonna croak. <laughs> it's because I'm so tired. Um, the easiest part of my life right now is getting up and putting one foot in front of the other. And so I just wanna keep it real with you guys. Just want you to know, you know, our story or my story. And in a couple of weeks, Captain is gonna need to take probably two days off a week for school because he's starting as a junior year and it's a pretty intense program. So 
some of the things we have control over when they start and others we don't. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm just a little blah today, because I'm just so tired. Thank you for understanding. So since I managed most of the water, I've noticed that recently the water sources have been further apart, maybe four or five miles. Uh, well, compared to the 18 mile water carriers, not that far apart, but further apart than when we started. And they have a lot more flow to them. They're, they're a lot better with water. And so I would honestly say that is probably my ideal circumstance. Of course, 20 mile water carriers are not great, but in the situation that we are right now, it is definitely good because not only do we not really have to carry an excess, which I did while I was hiking with my dad, and that was not fun at all, but it's also a lot less kind of stressful to have to keep in mind, oh, we need to drink less water and we need to conserve it. So honestly, I would say this is a great situation. I mean, it's been maybe two or three miles at this point since our most recent water, and there's water right about here but I've passed maybe three or four smaller streams um, in the past couple of, uh, couple of miles, which is definitely nice because not only do I not have to worry about that, but I also I can take water from the smaller streams. I've kind of learned to do that over these past like 1400 miles. So at this point, I'm happy because I'm getting more water than I actually need. He makes it look so easy. <laughs> You're funny. This is called a road telephone. No kidding, I've heard of it before. <laughs> it says telephone of the wind. This telephone of okay, this telephone of the wind is for all who grieve. You're welcome to find solstice here. Please use it to connect with those you have lost to feel comfort of their memory. May you hear their voices in the wind. May you be at peace with your losses. This is interesting. Ha. That's wow. Funny. Pick it up and listen. Do you hear anything? What a remark, there's nothing. It's no. not connected to anything. I know. What's these supposed to just hear it? Hold and on, feel let it. me just dial something. Hear it and feel it, honey. Other way. <laughs> what if someone picks up? That'd be funny. Oh, look, it's oh. dialing. No, listen, I heard something. Hi, Largo. It's the wind. I love funny. you. <laughs> so lots of tick warnings here. Um, for those of you who don't know what they look like, here's a little thing right here. The adult, female, adult, male, nymph, larvae. The deer ticks are the ones that carry the lime. The wood ticks, as far as I know, do not. We have a new type of blazing we've been doing today. Funny. It's called fart blazing. So if you're behind someone who's farting after they eat those MREs, <laughs> Largo, this is a friendly family channel. <laughs> oh, is it? I didn't realize. Funny, funny. So fart blazing is what Largo's doing today. And I am the lucky recipient of being behind him after that lunch. Gross. It's hard to kind of tell where the trail goes here. It's super overgrown on the sides and on the top <laughs> and all around. I, think I read on far out that this one you have to be really careful because it's very easy to get kind of lost. As Captain said earlier, the water sources are so plentiful today. It's like, finally! But we're still gonna keep carrying, packing out three liters for the time being, just until we realize this is a consistent thing. Okay. So simple, but so profound.
to see the shelter. It's kind of eclectic. It's, it's dark, so it's hard to see, but it's got these bunks in here, which are really cute. Um, looks like an old schoolhouse, kind of. And then it's got a table over here. But here's the freaking creepy thing. There's feet coming out of the ceiling. And when I first saw that, I thought it was a second level, but no, it's just creepy. Someone just put feet there. That's freaky deaky. And then back here, little patio. It's pretty nice. But I don't think we're gonna sleep with the feet. I think we're gonna stick to our tent because it is creepy. Welcome to the end of day 123. I'm Captain. I'm uh, You're Captain. <laughs> I'm Sunshine. I'm too used to the routine. <laughs> you know your lines. <laughs> um, we went 18.5 miles today from. Stealth site mile marker 1416 to, I don't even know where we are right now, to RPH shelter, known as creepy feet hanging out of the ceiling shelter. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, do you, we're really dark tonight. It's a little after nine. Um, what was, did, I'm so confused right now. What was your best part of your day? Uh, best part of my day was, um, all the water sources today. I love that we had plentiful water. We didn't have to worry about it at all or ration it. How about your best part? I would say the best part for me today were the views and also the sunset that we got to see tonight. Oh, the sunset, yeah. That was nice. Um, uh, did you have a horse? No, not exactly. It was a pretty good day. My feet didn't hurt that bad. and Yeah. My horse is at my... Imagine this, guys. My feet hurt. <laughs> it's not tendonitis. That's almost completely gone. Um, I'm just having some other problems like the balls on my feet. And I think what happened is I think my feet grew a size and now my shoes are too narrow. So I'm going to get the wide version next. Oh, my gosh. The saga of my shoes continues. I don't think it was kind of an uneventful day. Like nothing crazy happened or... It's right? ironic, like, though. A couple of days ago, you said, I'm finally ready to hike the AT. Because my feet are finally ready. And, and now, yet now they're not. I yeah. jinxed it. Damn it, I jinxed it. <sighs> you know, it's been really fun, too. You know, another part of my day was we're meeting a lot of the southbound hikers now. And there aren't that many of them, but it's fun to see other, like chat with other people. Like right tonight, we're at a... We're at a shelter with a guy who's a southbounder who started June 18th, so he's cranking, uh, which I think it's cool. We get an opportunity to talk to the southbounders, um, and then they tell us where our buddies are on the trail, so now we know one of our buddies is like eight miles ahead of us, so we're going to catch him tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go to bed. Mm -hmm. I'll be it, and we will see you tomorrow. Let the dash. Bye. Bye.